unfortunately no more keyless entry keyless goes or anything like that back to the old analog so today is the day we've been waiting for m day we're gonna be going down to munich hang out with all the m guys unfortunately it's raining this morning so probably not gonna have too many or too much fun on the autobahn but um, hopefully we'll have some fun at BMW Museum and then tomorrow it looks like the the sun should be out so I might be able to get some fast runs on the Autobahn then so uh, stay tuned to the road trip to Munich. Now plot twist, this is my ride back home from that event. Unfortunately, the ride up there was pouring rain the entire time. So it was just going the normal highway recommended speed limit of 120 kilometers an hour. So there's nothing too exciting to see there. Uh, to start off, I'd like to thank Bavarian Motor Cars and also BMW Military Sales for inviting me out to the special event that they hosted at the BMW Velt and uh, the museum and their headquarters and all that. We got to see the brand new M2 up close. I got to sit in it. Same thing with the uh, new XM. I got to sit in it. I got to hear them start it up. Uh, oh, here we go, opening. Let's go. Got another nice car that showed up. I made Grand Coupe 2023. Welcome to M Town. 50 years of BMW hat. Got some of the safety cars over there. We'll get a closer look soon. So the interior is the exact same thing as the G80, M3, the M4, all that. You got the iDrive 8, carbon bucket seats optionally, or just the sport seats. Pretty much no difference at all in terms of the interior. Just 
So far, I actually kind of like it. The only thing I don't like is looking at it from the rear, directly behind it, but even at like an angle, it doesn't look that bad. If you notice, the bumper bumps out a lot. Like, look at this. I'm sure some aftermarket parts can, can change the look of the rear end. But this orange slash red color really, really helps the look a lot. If I were to order this car, it would definitely be in this color. None of the other colors I, I'm a huge fan of. Like the black, yeah, you could cover up everything, but like, eh. There you have it, the new M2. Seeing it in person, it definitely looks a lot better. Even this camera shot probably isn't that great, but hopefully I got you guys some good angles. This car is going to be a beast. The tuning ability, everything, like performance wise, it's going to be next level for sure. But as we learned with the G80 M3 and M4s, I think when it comes to cosmetics, we can sort of forget about it or just learn to like it. Look at that rear bumper. Oh, I love these. <laughs> Perfect for me. Yep, same as the G GDM3 interior for the most part. I drive eight. Very nice three pedals, though. Also, we have a little bit more stiffness added to the car on the bottoms of the knees and it also inside on the engine bay and quiets it. It's definitely not as fast as the solution. And everyone's heading home now.
All right, hey everybody. Uh, before I end the video, I would like to show you some of the gifts that BMW gave us as sort of like a thank you token and just just a nice gesture. Um, starting off, license plate bracket for the M2, born in M-Town. I was actually wanting to buy one of these for it, so perfect timing. Uh, then I ended up getting one gifted to me by BMW themselves, that's awesome. I can't wait till I get the permanent plates for the M2, hopefully very, very soon. And this will be going on. Next, they gave us like a catalog of their, was it the winter program for 2022 and 2023? Maybe I'll have to do a class with them for winter driving. I've I've never really, I've all, or all of my track days have been, you know, nice and sunny out. I don't like to drive when traction is not optimal because I like to go very fast, but this would be some pretty good education for learning how to drive in less than ideal conditions. So I might have to sign up for one of these classes and then, yeah, definitely get some content on the channel with that if I do go. Uh, it just has to work with my schedule. And then, also got this really nice BMW M book. I guess it's like the entire history of BMW M. Very nice. I'm definitely gonna read this right after I film this. <laughs> so very, very cool. And then last but not least, They gave us a BMW military coin. Super cool. Very, very, very nice and thoughtful. I really appreciate it. I had a really fun time. And uh, it's a, they have like a great community out here. I'm, as you, some of you might be aware, I also have a AMG. I started out being an AMG fan. And uh, just earlier this year, I started getting into BMW. That's why I ordered the M3 and then now the M2CS and the uh, the community out here in Germany is wonderful, especially Bavaria where the home of M is. So can't wait till next year, maybe this winter if I do one of those winter classes and uh, can't wait to get back out on the track. See you guys in the next video. Thanks for stopping by.